uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about one of our uh, lending library items, the iFixit Electronics Toolkit. We have an individual, we have five of these that we can check out. We also have a classroom kit of 10 of them that we can check out. Um, this is a great uh, item for classrooms wanting to do some tinkering, take apart electronics, take apart things that have small screws and see how things work. Today, I'm going to be taking apart my, I don't know, circa 2008 MacBook. I'm gonna start off with this uh, opening tool. And right here on the side, I've got my iFixit um, teardown uh, instructions as well, just in case I run into a place where I can't figure out what step is next. Um, these older laptops though, the MacBooks had this really nice feature where you turn this little um, key and out popped your battery. That was nice and super easy to replace. Now you have to take the whole uh, laptop apart to get at the battery. So um, you can see how they're making things less and less uh, or more and more difficult to repair yourself. Got three screws right on the top here. There it comes. And I noticed that this screw is, long, is shorter actually than the two in the back. So I'm gonna set those in different spots in my little tray here. Actually, so. So right. Got two more screws on the back here. The great thing about this screwdriver is the little blue part is spins freely, so you can it makes it really easy to go fast as you're unscrewing the little screws. And it's also magnetic, so your screws come out. All right, so I've taken a taken off all of the screws that I can see, but it's still wedged on there. It's not coming off. There are three screws right here that my trusty iFixit teardown is telling us to remember, right? Yeah. Look at that guy. So here you can see we throw these little levers. This is how you get at your ram. All right. Now there are one, two, three, four more screws inside here. Two screws on this side, the terminal. So far, I haven't had to change my bit from a number one Phillips head. There are a bunch of screws. That's the nice thing about, another nice thing about the iFixit site is, it will save me a little bit of work telling me exactly what I have to take apart and letting me know what I don't have to take apart. Although it can be fun to just experiment too. Oh boy. That's feeling like it's gonna come up. Go. The 
feel so rad. Look at that. That's so scary. <laughs> Look at all that. That's disgusting. <laughs> so that's kind of cool that you can actually get right inside there and you can see right there's the little port where the little cable plug goes. It's pretty cool. Hard drive, disk drive, and pretty awesome. All right, thanks for taking this apart with me. Um, I'm gonna put it back together the same way I took it back, took it apart. Um, and you should check out uh, the iFixit Electronics Essentials Toolkit uh, for the classroom or for an individual educator and uh, all the other cool stuff that we've got in the lending library.